blood must reach nearly every cell of an organ, like the liver, where both wide arteries and capillaries just two ten thousandths of an inch in diameter course through. Bioprinting at this degree of detail requires some of the most exacting filament architecture in the modern world. That is why Christopher Chen of the University of Pennsylvania has turned to the masters, candy makers. Candy manufacturing technologies basically use some of these same principles. You see these sort of glassy sugar design patterns. So we definitely used a lot of the know-how from that industry. Not only do they use the same technology as the candy makers, the main ingredient they use to build the intricate network of blood vessels is just as sweet, sugar. We were looking for something that would leave behind filaments, and so filaments have to be able to dissolve and leave behind material that is not going to be toxic to cells. Sugar comes out, it hits air temperature, and at air temperature, it's immediately freezing in place. That allows the sugar to keep its own structure in even very complicated 3D shapes. Once the sugar vessel structure hardens, it's covered with cells. Water then dissolves the sugar, and hollow tubes are left behind. These are the organ's blood vessels. We were really excited to see that we could get blood flowing through these structures at the velocities and the pressures that we would expect to see in human tissue. I imagine services in the future where you'll take a skin biopsy or give some white blood cells from your blood. Those cells will be sent to a lab. They'll be turned into your own organs, ready to go in case of an emergency or a critical medical situation. This will save thousands of lives, but it may also encourage some hard living. The risk that we we'll have to worry about is that this will lead to a, a culture of irresponsibility. That people will be willing to take greater risks with themselves, knowing that pieces can be so easily replaced. You can actually replace an organ before it fails. So, for instance, if you're going to be engaging in a heavy bout of drinking, you may want to replace your liver ahead of time. You thought your college days were wild? Try it when you're seven.